Hello viewers, this is Rise. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Today we're gonna go through more of this odd place. Did the zombies design this place or something? Yes! Okay, um, I didn't think I was that overleveled. Yeah, it's pretty easy to uh, ambush those guys. Just a star, man. Yeah, there's a magic butterfly that appears there. These guys new enemies? Oh, one thing I uh, didn't mention, the atomic power robot there that who turned into in the last episode, he's actually burnable to freeze, and the uh, monkey's lava work on him, so. That's nice. A quick freeze gamma will one-hit him. Had to do some healing there. Uh, by the way, don't use fire on that robot. He's immune to it. The atomic power robot there. Okay, let's keep moving here. Alright, instant win. Got it. That's what I like to see. When do you learn Fire Omega? Oh, she learned Thunder Gamma. For Paula, that's not that useful. For Pooh, it's much better because he has less PP to spend. Oh, I did forgot they could do that. Bet you can't do that again! Ha ha ha! That's what I thought. Come on, I dare you. Yeah, that's right. Aw, oh, crap. Instant win. Oh, what the? Well, whatever. I'll edit this guy out. I'll be right back. That must have been the, uh... Mook Senior I did that to. The other side of the game is just inconsistent. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you kept the KC bat and you equipped that, the game only calculates the offense stat when, um, deciding instant wins. It, it's ridiculous, so. The KC bat actually does have some use in that regard. Starstorm is amazing. Feel free to use it, you know, you got the brain food launches, really. Oh, uh, Ness learned PSI Flash Gamma, which, um, it basically gives a, uh, the higher chance to instantly kill the enemies. As well as doing other things, like making them feel strange or become numb. It's a just a better version of PSI Flash Beta. How much does it cost, anyway? 24. That's not bad. I hardly ever use it. There's not very many enemies left that are weak to Flash. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to go up at that path first, because we get the chest here couple life noodles. I'm just going to drop it. I got enough of them already. I got two of them. Plus, you know, I can always buy the uh, Horns of Life. Man, who is uh, catching up from the time he missed pretty quickly. That's, that's good to know. Okay, let's get on here. And let's go up a bit. Oh, uh, let's see if I can get in. Yep, sneak attack. Alright. And, and, and let's get another one. Always get the uh, sneak attacks when you can. You can get an instant win there. Which is good. Okay, um. Ooh, let's fight that guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go right first. I don't wanna go down the ladder yet. And yeah, let's see if we can. Did I get him? I can instantly kill these guys, too, but uh, I want to explain something about these guys. So I'm going to have to purposely not sneak attack them. And a broken harmonica, which repairs into... Uh, let me check that real quick. A weapon for Jack that requires 55 IQ, which I don't even know if we have. Do we have that? It repairs into the bad beam. No, we don't. Uh, I'll repair it when we get the IQ. It's really not essential. I mean... The heavy bazooka still out damages it, so I wouldn't even worry about it. When we, whenever we get the IQ, I'll take care of that. Damn, I didn't want to sneak attack you. What the hell, game? I actually want to get ambushed for once. So when I want to get ambushed, I can't. What the hell? This is bull. Here, ambush me. Ambush me. You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. Alright, okay, well, let me kill this star man first. Oh, come on! I said let me kill the star man first. There we go. Oh, I almost killed Pooh. Fast forwarding that. 
Okay, this is the Starman Super. Now, where is he? There he is. The only thing that really works on him is the uh, monkey's log, so I'll just do that so I can have the game do something in my life. Oh, it didn't work. It usually works on this guy. Oh, well. Yeah, he can guard, fire a beam for about 90 damage. Has PSI shield beta, PSI shield, and healing omega. So I'll take him out first. Except for in this case, because I want to explain something about him. And he can call for help from a star man. Anyway, this guy has a 1 in 128 chance of dropping the Sword of Kings, whose only weapon in the game. So therefore, his ultimate weapon. It uh, increases your strength by 30, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's by 30. Um, I have the weapon listed in there somewhere. But uh, it takes an incredibly long time to get. If I don't actually get it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hack it into my game if I don't get it. And before anybody moans and whines and complains about that, look, I've gotten the Sword of Kings three times legitimately in my playthroughs of this game. First time, I got it in like five minutes. I was like, yes. Second time, four hours. Third time, 15 hours straight I was playing this game with the fast forward feature on my emulator. So because of that, I'm going to use PSI, Freeze Omega, Rock and Gamma, Multi Bottle Rocket, and PSI Star Storm. How do you like my ownage? And you still killed two people. Wow, uh. Okay, you didn't need to own me back. What the hell? Okay, hell. Uh... Oh, what the hell? I'll just. Damn it! Okay, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm back, and uh, just open this chest. It's a PSI caramel. Just use it on whoever. Just use it on crew, I guess. It's not really felt that great at this point in the game. Let's just keep moving here. If you can't instantly kill them, just uh, use the just uh, use the uh, KC bat to equip it if you still kept it. But uh, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. You know, by the time you get the weapon, you're going to be ridiculously over leveled anyway. So what's the point of getting it? I don't get it. I, I think it's a waste of freaking time and energy. I don't know what the hell they were thinking when they programmed in these items. Exit mice, just ridiculous. Um, I don't think you can encounter them anymore. Uh, well, in any case, I do want to do a little bit of grinding here. I just want to get Paul up to level 60. And catch Pooh up a little bit from when he was behind, so... I'll take care of that, and... You know, and I'll just end this episode off right here. So, uh, basically, I just want to get Paula up to level 60 and get Pooh up three or four levels. Take about 10 minutes, 15, maybe. Probably not even. Probably like five or six, knowing this game. So, uh, yeah, next time I'll meet you right here in this room and we'll finish this place. Uh, if I don't get the Sword of Kings, I'll just hack it in between this episode and the next. And I don't even want to hear any complaining about it, so, whatever. Don't like it too bad. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you next time on Let's Play Earthbound. Have a great day, guys.